Hello everybody, Mad Rambo here. Today's tips, tricks and guides video by me, the Mad Rambo. I want to talk to you a little bit about storage and what some people still don't seem to grasp the idea of storage and how it actually works and how you can improve your own storage. So storage, each town has its own storage. It's not shared across all the towns. So each, each settlement, each town has its own storage capabilities. When you go into the storage, you'll see how much storage you actually have got at the top of the screen. You can drop down and have a look at other places. If your faction owns another settlement, so for instance, I am Syndicate, we own Cutlass, Ebonscale, Windswood and Reekwater. So if I've got anything in Cutlass, I can move things across from that storage over to Windswood and it will just cost me some gold and we can do that if I've got things elsewhere. But for instance, if I have got things in Brightwood, for instance, which is owned by Marauder, I cannot move things across. Right, to upgrade your own town storage, there is a couple of ways. First one is done when you upgrade your settlement. So as you are questing around, as you're collecting things, you get standing territory standing points which you put them into your location and it's one of three cards I've always said and I will continue to say if you see the storage option pick the storage the other option to increase your storage your personal storage for that town that settlement is having a player house now I own a player house in Winswood, a tier four house remember the first house that you buy anywhere has a 50% reduction in value so it costs you off the price hence why i went for the tier four first because it cost me ten thousand instead of 20. now i have created four hewn 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 storage chests and i've put them into my house and what these do is they add on to the storage this is why i have got twenty thousand storage right now each one of these adds 200 storage. So as you see here, these are the storage chests that you can actually put in a house. Tier four can have four storage chests, three, three, two, two, one, and one. So I've got the hewn log storage chest, which are craftable. I found a craft, I found a recipe for it and I could craft it at level 35 furnishing. And this adds 200 per storage. These are all tiered. Some of these will drop in the world. You can buy them from your trading outpost. But to increase your storage, the best thing to do is to buy a tier four house. If this is your main territory, so mine's Windsward, I wanted to buy a tier four house because I knew it would be my main territory. This is why I've got 2000 storage. So don't sleep on that. Any place that you are considering as a main storage, storage center so for maybe you want to craft in cutlass keys and reek water buy a house there you've got fast travel which is cheaper than any other fast travel and you've got all that storage that you can increase and remember your standing territory cards purchase your storage one if and when it comes up but thank you for watching i just wanted to just let everyone know about storage because i see a lot of questions about it how do i increase my own storage what's going on here i keep running out of space i still run out of space so when i'm running around collecting stuff and i'm knowing i'm running out of space i will throw half of x amount of stuff onto the market make some money reduce my storage what i've currently got but thank you for watching much appreciated and i will see you on the next one take care and goodbye